Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. We will be covering chapter five in this lecture. And um, the biggest thing that we're going to be focusing on is going to be controlled studies and expert testimony. I will not be covering analogies in this. Um, so we've got vocabulary words as usual, and the ones that we're gonna be covering is gonna be protocol, subjects, question, hypothesis, control group, placebo, independent variable, and blind studies, okay? So first and foremost, I do wanna cover the controlled study. And the controlled study is actually a very specific, reliable method that compare groups of subjects, okay? We're comparing groups of subjects together. Now, a controlled study is the methods that are used should be able to be duplicated to verify the accuracy, okay? So we do have what we call peer-reviewed research. When you're doing research, you will find papers that say peer-reviewed, and those are the ones that you want to go for first and foremost. And the reason for that is the controlled uh, studies that are reused over and over, when a peer review goes through it and they can verify the accuracy, then you know that the data is incorrect, or is correct. Now, there has been studies out there, like um, there was one study that was done on do vaccines cause autism, and there was a study that went out, and the, the conclusion of it was that it does. And a lot of the peers were like, hold up, wait a second, let's try and see, is this true? So peers went through, they went through the controlled study, and then they found that the results from that first study were actually wrong, okay? And so that being the case, in the peer reviews, they were able to say, look, we've duplicated this, we've done everything we can. Even if you did have that one outlier, the results are still in inaccurate. So they were able to disprove based on the controlled study that they used to get the first information. So this is why we do peer reviews, to verify the information because We'll talk about, remember, um, thank you for smoking and how sometimes we can use this data to manipulate certain things, but is it peer reviewed? Can you duplicate it? Can you prove to say, hey, you know what, this is true based on all the research that I've done following your original uh, controlled study, okay? Um, so as a controlled study, it is still inductive reason. And the reason for that is because the evidence allows researchers to draw conclusions. So remember, when we're doing uh, inductive reasoning, we're using data and research to come up with our conclusions. So these conclusions are drawn, the conclusions that are drawn are very likely to occur based on the research that you're doing. And these, uh, these conclusions are going to answer three very important questions. And the first one is, um, what do I want to find out? Remember when we talked about in uh, the last chapter, chapter four, the characteristic of interest, which is, what do I want to find out? What's my question? Uh, number two is, who do I want to find out about? And that's our target population. Okay, who do I want to find out? Target population. And then number three, who can I study to find it out? So what's the sample? Remember we talked about sample size and bias and that sort of thing. Who can I study to find out uh, the answer to this question, okay? So we talk about protocols and subject. We just mentioned subjects, and now we're gonna talk about protocols. And some of you might actually go, oh, protocol, I know that word, right? So when people say like in the military and medical places, they say, oh, they didn't follow protocol. Well, protocol is set in place for a reason. So you get uh, specific results based on the ways in which that you do a thing. So the design of a study, the design of the study, the way in which they do is called a protocol, all right? And if you don't follow the protocol every time you work with these specific subjects, then the study won't be reliable. So when we talk about protocols, things are put in place and the way in which you do a study in order to get the same results. So if you do it different, well, of course, you're gonna get different results. So you, in order to make sure you are getting um, accuracy, you have to follow said protocol, right? And we talk about subjects. So protocol is the design, it's the design of a controlled study. Now the subject are the people or animals, yes, we still do study on animals. Um, people or animals study to get information about a, again, target population, question number uh, one. Okay, so uh, let's see here, what else have we got? Nope, my little guy stopped working. What's going on? Of course this would happen, right? Did my guy die? <laughs> Oh, my little guy. So if any of y'all have ever had me in my class, I use my little PowerPoint thing and it just stopped. So I'm gonna pause my video for a second and I'll be right back.